Welcome to Heartfelt Scripture Reading. And today we're going to be taking a look at Bible verses on mercy. And if this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Luke chapter 6 verse 36. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. James chapter 2 verse 13. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful, mercy triumphs over judgment. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Matthew chapter 9 verse 13 But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have not come to call the righteous but sinners. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 to verse 23 Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Psalm chapter 23 verse 6 Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly love, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 he saved us not because of righteous things we had done but because of his mercy he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the holy spirit psalm chapter 25 verse 6 to verse 7 remember lord your great mercy and love for they are from of old do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Judah, verse 23 to verse 25. Save others by snatching them from the fire. To others show mercy, mixed with fear, hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majestic, power, and authority, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forever. Amen. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 17. Those who are kind benefit themselves, but the cruel bring ruin on themselves. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 26. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 to verse 5 But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgression. It is by grace you have been saved. Psalm chapter 40 verse 11 to verse 12 do not withhold your mercy from me lord may your love and faithfulness always protect me for troubles without number surround me my sins have overtaken me and i cannot see they are more than the hairs of my head and my heart fails within me matthew chapter 23 verse 23 woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees. You hypocrites, you give a tenth of your spice, mint, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, 
mercy and faithfulness, you should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. Psalm chapter 103 verse 8 The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. Psalm chapter 145 verse 9 The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Matthew chapter 25 verse 35 to verse 40 For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you, a stranger, and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe to you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 to verse 9 finally all of you be like-minded be sympathetic love one another be compassionate and humble do not repay evil with evil or insult with insults on the contrary repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 14 to verse 15 and we urge you brothers and sisters warn those who are idle and disruptive encourage the disheartened help the weak be patient with everyone make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else jonah chapter 4 verse 2 he prayed to the lord isn't this what I said, Lord, when I was still at home? This is what I tried to forestall by fleeing to tarnish. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sin and calamity. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 31 For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not abandon or destroy you or forget the covenant with your ancestors which he conformed to them by oath first timothy chapter 1 verse 16 but for that very reason i was shown mercy so that in me the worst of sinners christ jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life